How do you identify the meaning of unknown words? In this lesson, you will learn how to understand the meaning of new vocabulary by looking for clues around the word. Let's review. In previous lessons, you learned that authors oftentimes use what is called bold words in order to identify words that they are going to provide you with definitions for. These words typically are important to understanding the contents of the passage and oftentimes authors use what is called a glossary to define these words. Glossaries can usually be found at the end of the text or at the bottom of the page. A common mistake that readers oftentimes make is as they are reading they simply skip over these keywords that they do not understand. Then, at the end of the passage, it is difficult for the reader to understand the main point of the passage because they missed key information that the author was trying to convey through the vocabulary that the reader did not understand. So, in this passage, we're specifically going to go ahead and look for words that we might not understand the meanings to. In previous lessons, we've already learned that authors define those bold words in the back of the passage in the glossary. So right now, I'm specifically looking at other words that I don't understand the meaning to that are not in bold. So let's go ahead and read. Come and Get It by Kira Freed. When people think of camouflage, they often picture animals hiding from predators by mimicking or taking on the appearance of something else. So here I see the word predators is in bold, and I know that the author is going to provide me that definition in the glossary. So I'm not too worried about that right now. But I also see another word that I'm really not familiar with. This word mimicking. I haven't seen that before, but hopefully the author has left some clues around the word that will help give me a better understanding of what this word means. So once I've identified this word mimicking, I'm next going to ask myself, what clues did the author leave around the word? Typically, these clues will be found before or after the word mimicking. So here I have hiding from predators by mimicking. Those are the words that are before the word mimicking. And I want to think to myself, is that a clue or a definition of the word mimicking? Hiding from predators by. Hmm. I don't think so, because those seem like mimicking is what they're going to do. So perhaps I need to look after the word mimicking to see if the definition is there. Or taking on the appearance of. Hmm. I know sometimes I use the word or as another definition or another version of something. So I'm trying to explain it in a different way. So maybe the author is trying to tell me that instead of the word mimicking, I could use the words taking on the appearance of. That seems to actually make sense to me. So predators sometimes take on the appearance of something else. Here I can see that the author used the word or to identify that there's another way that you can describe mimicking. So I actually think that's a solid clue to give me the definition. So once I've found my clues, I'm then going to go ahead and write the word that I didn't previously know on my post-it note. Now, I want to try to put this definition in my own words. The reason why we do this is because good readers are able to go ahead and make their own definitions. That way they remember the meaning of that word long after they finished reading this passage. So, mimicking means or taking on the appearance of something. So, taking on the appearance, what's another way I can say that? Well, appearance is the same thing as looking like something. So maybe I could say mimicking is looking like something else. That way, that's in my own words, but it looks pretty similar to what the author said, and now I'm going to really be able to remember that for the future. So I'm going to go ahead and write down trying to look like something else. That's my own definition, but it's pretty similar to the one the author gave me. And now I can go ahead and put back my new definition into this sentence to see if it makes sense. So let's go ahead and look, and instead of the word mimicking, this time I'm going to put in my definition trying to look like something else. So here we go. When people think of camouflage, they often picture animals hiding from predators by trying to look like something else. Hmm, does that make sense? 
Well, it does to me because I can think of many animals that try to look like something else or hide, including chameleons that kind of change their colors when they're on different parts of landscapes. So that definitely makes sense to me. So now I'm going to continue. So in review, first, I'm going to reread the word next. I'm going to ask myself, what clues does the author give me? Finally, I'm going to jot down my own definition. That way I'll more than likely remember the word when I come across it in other passages of text. So, in this lesson, you have learned how to understand the meaning of new vocabulary by looking for clues around the word.